Hello, this is Titans Beats, and and we're back for the uh, part two for the Halo Infinite campaign on Legendary. So let's carry on. I'm not really gonna bother looking for the scales and that, but I'm gonna try and like do like all the outposts and stuff like that. Because with my um my first playthrough, I was pretty much just playing the main story, but I've started to like go take over all the outposts in there as well. So if I see one along the way as I'm doing a main mission, I'll definitely um I'll definitely take them out like cuz there's like a bunch of mini bosses in a lot of other areas that ain't like they're not like main bosses, but they're still bosses. So there's actually a lot more bosses than I thought. There's I think there's eight main ones which I've only fought, like, killed five of them, I'm pretty sure. In my other playthrough. The one that I'm not videoing. Alright, so I've still got my, um, great weapons. My, uh, battle rifle and my, um, I think I call it a pulse rifle, but people call it like a a pulse carbine or something. How do we get out of here? Terminal, over there. Just give me a second. I should be able to get control from here. So Tremonius has fallen. A yep. victim of the Master Chief's might. Do not fool yourself. He was not the best of the banished, not by any measure. It occurs to me that we not been introduced. I of course know of you, Spartan. Do you reckon legend there's gonna be a Halo Infinite 2? So I still have not finished this game. You stir in the hearts of your kind. I hope I get to kill him. That'd be awesome. I want you to know my name too. To know my legend. How else will you beg me for mercy? I am Eshram, War Chief of the Banished. This is my world now. And you have little time remaining in it. A little bit rough. Wow, look at this place. It's so... Full of more monsters coming to kill us. I find the um the weapon a bit more of a funnier AI over Cortana. A lot of the time Cortana was pretty serious. Alright, they have other plans for me. Which I don't like. Jeez, okay. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna quickly change this controller. This controller's not really that responsive. I'm like... I'm zooming in and it's like not clicking in when I want it to.
I don't know why it's doing that, but it it was doing it just like while I was playing the main one. Yeah, this one's way more instant. Good. Actually, I might take up a needler. I just love that the um the jackals can now talk like English and stuff like grunts have always been able to, and same with elites in that. Which elites have been able to say like, I just haven't really ever heard the jackals speak. I don't think. I can't remember about Halo 3, but they usually just they usually just mimic their own like species name, like Jekyll. They say Jekyll, and that's about it. They don't actually talk. Halo 2, they definitely don't. So a thing to do with your um with your grapple when you grapple up, like if you grapple, you look up and you go like way higher. So that will actually get you up top of the hills a lot better, and then and then like sort of as you're able to like fling yourself up a little bit, you're able to um hopefully get your grappler quickly again to redo it and just to keep sort of going up to the cliff. Alright, I'm dead if I, if I, like, stand in the wrong spot with all the enemies. Oh my god, my headshots are really bad. Okay, so there's this rocket launcher later on that is a nightmare to try to fight. It was like one it was like a mini boss and I was like stuck on it for a long time. So yeah, so so far I've learned there's two types of rocket launchers. I think, I seriously think that sniper is going to be a better choice right now, just for now to like, take out a lot more enemies. Lol, that wasn't smart Grunty. I'm guessing he didn't know that the shield saved him. Okay, for jackals, I'm just going to use the battle rifle. I knew you'd do that. Okay, so grunts like to come and sneak on you and throw grenades at you when you're unrepaired.
Oh my god. I can't get this jackal. Okay, what? Well, I don't know why their shields go up to their head now. Such a weird way to hold the jackal shield. In another really annoying feature, there's no save and quit option, so like, I wish there was, like, it couldn't have been that hard to really do, just so you could ch um, save at the last checkpoint, but you have like moments where you like kill some stuff, and then like you get taken back to the start of the area or something, if you like don't finish it. annoying. Jesus, that elite can take out so many sniper shots. It's pretty cool. It like shot up like a it um shot up like a rocket. Alright, so I sort of do want my rock launch back, but if I can find that pulse rifle gun or the pulse carbine, whatever whatever it's called, I'll probably take that over most things. As long as I've got a headshot weapon and that I'm set. Like you don't I don't even use plasma pistols in this. The, the pulse carbine is my plasma pistol. The noob combo on Halo um, Infinite. Pleasure. Alright. What do we have? That one? No. And also, when you hit the ground after grappling, if you jump, you go like extremely far. That's how I do to get away half the time. You need to know that on legendary. It's like a must know situation. Sometimes. You've just got to know when to fight, and sometimes you've got to know when to run. Being a hero isn't getting yourself killed, and that's for sure. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. A lot. Oh my god. You want? Yeah, that elite knows what he's done. So yeah, red elites on Halo Infinite are pretty difficult. Ooh, what's this? I'm pretty sure this is a gun that I don't like. To verse, anyway. Should I say? No, no! Come on, he had no shield and I muted him and he still didn't die. 
Jeez, that the red elites are like um, <clears throat> they're, they're nearly like Halo Two Ultras sometimes. Well, probably not that strong, but they take two players' pistols, which is like Halo Two's Ultras. They Alright, good thing. I see an emo bay there that's gonna help me um, get some more battle rifle bullets at the time when I need it. So, I shouldn't be scared to use this. Okay. Player's pistol's good, but if I, if I did have that pulse carbine, the gun that he's not holding, but all that gun actually would do pretty well. If you can find me somewhere to hack in, I think I can guarantee this base will be safe for your friend to land. Let me see. The Banished are using a modification of the Covenant's Battle.net protocol. Pretty easy to push through, and done. I've removed this location from their system. We're safe here. LZ secure. Lol. There comes the Marines, Nando. I'm pretty sure it's just our little Marine. Oh, the, um... The guy that saves you. But, there is other Marines with us for some reason. Or maybe not. So it is him, but like, as soon as this exits, like the cutscene, there's like just normal marines here. Like, how did we get them? As good as this feels. Please tell me, we can go. Did you find the weapon you were looking for? Can we go? Hi! What the? Cortana! But she? This is all her fault! It isn't Cortana. Tell him. But it's classified. Permission granted. I was created by Dr. Catherine Halsey to mimic this installation's security to trap Cortana for deletion. I was successful. Cortana's no longer a threat. And now she's going to help us stop the banished. Of course she is. I think I'm with you. I didn't even know what a banished was an hour ago, and even I can see the odds aren't great. Yes. Yes, you should listen to her. You're gonna get us all killed. Oh, this is fascinating. You're trying to survive. But I was programmed to die. Really? One person with a death wish wasn't enough. No, I was just figuring what I'm supposed to... Wait. I'm picking up a UNSC distress signal. Location. The source is four kilometers from here. All right, let's go save some marines. Here is the distress signal's point of origin. This is our current location. This was, until two minutes ago, a banished forward operating base. I say was because now it's ours. Chief, what is she talking about? Now, here's the cool part. There are more UNSC forward operating bases that have fallen into banished hands. Well, Pause. They have pause. Each one is associated with a territory. Here is the location of the UNSC signal I've been tracking. And here are two more fobs. Mark it. Let's go. Let's go. So yeah, like those red things on the map are like little mini bosses sometimes. Some outposters don't always have bosses with health bars, but if they, usually if they have a health bar it means they're like a, a mini boss. Which Pulse Carbine takes down shield and then just any other gun really. Ready and waiting, Chief. Get on board and we can leave. Hmm. Oh wait, do we have to go? Oops.
head. To some. I have a question. I was created to lock down Cortana, but I don't know why. What did she do that was so wrong? She was our target. I understand that, but... Is this classified? Because I don't have all the information. Chief, this is insane! I see vanished everywhere! Did you hear me? Everywhere! What intel did Dr. Halsey give you before your mission? Halsey only tells people what they need to know. Fly Pelican straight into enemy territory. No one will ever notice. Great idea, big guy. I still don't understand why you had to delete her. It feels like something's missing. Guess what? They noticed. They all noticed. And we've got a banished structure up ahead. Armored. Very heavily armored. It'll have to wait, I suppose. How close can you get us? How close? We're unarmed, and you're asking me how close? Put us down here. Here? We're still doing this. Hope this works, because it's as good as it's gonna get. It's close enough. I love that Halo Infinite has no full damage. You can, like, jump off out of here. there and not die. It just feels so good. It just gives your grappler more of a fun use. We're close to the UNSC signal's origin. Source. Unclear. There's just too much. Right, I don't know when I get my map. Well, I think yeah. I, I don't know when I get my map, but I should get it very shortly. Probably the main structure we Once I think I get the space. Look down there. We're close to the fob we detected. You take out those monsters. Get me to that terminal. And I'll show what I can do. Alright, I'm gonna be like a, a sniper Spartan instead of a sniper Jackal. Lol, they definitely don't like it when they're getting sniped up from the top area. I don't think anyone- oh my god. <laughs> I'm using this because it saves me using my um my better rifle. To business. Let's lock down Fob Golf. Let me see. Yes, I was right. All I need to do is chat with the banished security protocol. And by chat, I mean push it out of the way because it is really not smart. And there, we now have ourselves a second Fob. So I'm wondering if I go to these other ones and quickly um <clears throat> take them over. Rebuild the UNSC piece by piece. That's his call. I'm just trying to be helpful. Speaking of which, each fob seems to be linked to the battle net. And if I do this, we can piece together what the banished are up to. For instance, over here is some kind of banished outpost. Purpose unclear but it's well defended so it's definitely worth looking into and blowing up and here is what i can only describe as someone that the banished value 
highly. Noted. His bio uh, is interesting. Should I go fight him? It's I have not fought him yet. They're tracking UNSC transponders too. Caches containing valuable equipment and intel. Oh no. It looks like there are multiple UNSC squads engaged in trying to survive. They're gonna make me they go get the Marines, help, but I wanna go fight the um boss, mini boss. Are you ready, Chief? What do you think? I already told you that the odds aren't great. For them. Then let's go find out what that signal is. Hopefully it doesn't like force me away from that. we learned about at the fob looks like some kind of salvage operation what's our move shut it down wait a minute so I might come back for that and what's this one all right anyway let's just go kill this guy this guy looks fun so I'm guessing it's like some sort of elite I wish the grapple was a little bit better. But it's a mini boss. Vagadun is and be careful. He's got quite a rap sheet. Thousands of UNSC personnel died at his hands. Time to make it right. Okay, we've got some sniper jackals in the area. Let me get my health back. So I think the uh, battle rifle actually has like a range limit that it can reach. Oh shit. I didn't know that there was going to be enemies behind me. I thought this was going to be like a dead end, like this big cliff base. But. It might actually turn out better than I thought. At least now got some cover. Oh my, he's invisible. Bruh, I don't like this. I can't see a thing. At least the other halos, you can see them. Just, see that's the thing of Halo Infinite. The active camo is so crazy that you won't even see it coming, which is what it's meant to be, right? It's meant to be like that. Oh, yep, I seen a glow on my face and yours did. Hmm. 
If he's gonna be invisible, that's a problem. Oh boy. Fuck. Oh my god, how how lucky. Nearly fell to my fell to my death. Wherever that led. Space. Luckily I know that jump technique saved my life. No ho! Yes. Oh, you. Oh, you. Lol. Working. Reinforcements inbound. Not good. Oh my god. So I'm wanting to try, I'm trying to grab the um, the barrel, but it's like not leading me, eh? Wow. Goodbye, Grunty. Say hello to whoever's down there. Oh yeah, your elite friend. God damn. I wish it went off the edge, the grenade. Yeah, this... I feel like I'm, I'm gonna be scared of anything else. I know there is a boss. Elite boss that's invisible, like the main boss. But... It's only him. This is actually harder because you have enemies to worry about too. Oh. See, if, if it was only us, I reckon I'd easily deal with him. So I think I just need to pick off everyone. I'm just seeing him like invisible and like literally seeing him like just. All right, did. Can you see him at all? He's literally in front of us. He's right there. Okay, you know what's making him harder to see? The ground. Hell yeah. 
Yeah, another thing I love, I just like the energy sword and everything. You don't have to pick up a new energy sword anymore. It's just like you, you walk into it and it gives you more more energy. Pretty inventive, even for the banished. So I copied it. I've sent updated schematics back to our forward operating bases. Should give us an edge. I'd suggest Okay, so what's an energy sword? Wouldn't it be like plasma? We can skip that part. Shock. I mean, it's just energy. It's why it's called an energy sword. All right, eliminated. It's a hard decision, but um, an energy sword like for bosses is probably going to be pretty decent. Or like just any strong guys, a sword will probably help me out. So would a rocket launcher though, wouldn't it? So wait a minute. I wasn't thinking it was like gonna be that far because it didn't look far on the map. I'm like that far for like what it was saying. This ain't right. All right. So I don't know what I've got to exactly do here. Okay, I think I've actually done this part. I've done this before. And this was pretty challenging. As soon as they see you, you have to like turn those comp those things on. Then destroy like two power cables. Jackal snipers here are just everywhere. Give me your uh. That. Oh boy. Clearly. So what are you going to do about it? Disappoint them. Nice. You need to manually raise each silo first. Silos raised. Yeah, I was gonna say, what? Where's my um pulse rifle? Oh, pulse carbine, should I say? Grenades. Grenades. This one's different to what I remember, so I must have been doing a main story one. Like, something pretty similar. And I didn't see those guys till like, the 4th or 5th mission. So I was just doing the main, main story, so like, there's a lot I've missed out on. On my main playthrough. And grunts now actually merely attack you as well.
Oh, sniper. These jackals are so I'm not I'm not used to them. I'm used to the normal jackals where they have the jack uh, where they have their like hand and stuff by the um, left of their shield. Well right of their shield like when they're looking at it, but when you're looking at it it's on the left. Oh Make that too. He just threw a grenade at me. That brute sounds so aggressive. So mad. Oh. Good news is, I've got a checkpoint. Bad news, I don't know. When I die, there'll be bad news, but till then, it's good news. Ah, this is how um, Act Man got his tank. I was wondering how you got a tank so early, lol. I like don't have a tank still on my on my main game. What the hell? Is that no oh. Throw a grenade on now and whatever. We've got company, Chief. Well, more. Well, it looks like we've got company for them too, and I figure out how to help, how to get this tank. Not for long. Marking the repair base. Let's do this. I don't know how to get it, but I'm gonna find out how to get it. Well, do you see that? One M808 Scorpion in pretty good shape too. Could be useful if you like that kind of thing. Oh, I like it. Bro. Invisible or uh, I think it was an invisible elite. Imagine if they like brought in invisible brutes and stuff. Oh my oh, god. I like it. I mean that sort of is a thing on Halo 2 Lasso. This ain't a good checkpoint. 
This is a terrible checkpoint. What kind of checkpoint is this? Oh. Tell me I got my grappler out. Oh my god. Wow. It keeps jumping me into the gun. This is the worst checkpoint I could possibly imagine. Oh, I like it. No. Wow. Screw you, Jekyll. Still living. For long. Well, maybe for a little longer, but. Oh, I need to do something. It's like something in there that I've got to press. Got to press a button, and I love pressing buttons. See what happens. They're stripping I'll take all the yell. That. Excavation equipment. Are the banished digging for something? All right, so I think my best option. No, I don't want to. I did not want to take the tank. I mean, I did not want to take the gun on the tank. That was cool. We'd have never been able to do that in the other halos, shoot a grenade away. Like they'd just throw it and it would just it'd keep going towards you. She's the legend, he's just driving a tank backwards. So I can figure out how this actually works. It's tank. Pretty difficult. It's being like, I, I don't know if like maybe my controls not being, it's not reacting instantly or something. But the click's definitely reacting instantly. Tank doesn't work the same as other halos. Like if I'm looking over here and then I drive over here, maybe it does. It just goes towards it where you look, right? I would take out one of those with pleasure of using a tank. So what, does that mean now I can just use a tank at my base because I found it? Like, you know the base where you can spawn in vehicles? Can I spawn in a tank whenever I want?
So I think this is like one of those mini bosses or something. Oh my god. I'm just happy I don't have to deal with. Bunch of enemies on my feet at the moment anyway. Happy to finally find the tank. Oh boy. Alright, so I took out a lot of them with the tank, but... I do like the exploding effect though, like it's not like Halo 2 where um, it's gonna go, it like goes on fire and then eventually when it's gonna blow up it literally just blows up, it doesn't really warn you, it just tells you that the tank's weak before it's gonna blow up, before it hits a certain point of its health. Oh, so this is another thing to spawn my vehicles and to probably definitely make a checkpoint, I'd say. Oh, shit, what are you doing? It's pretty good of that elite to do that. Okay, these guys know their ninja rolls. How to avoid <laughs> my headshots at times. Foxtrot is ours. Alright, found another audio, whatever they are. Chief, thanks for coming up. Walk with me. So this is it. When Halsey gives us to go, we head down to the ring service and you Well you do what you do best. Another fob in UNSC control. And in the shadow of that banished tower. The closer we get to it, the stronger the UNSC distress signal becomes. The source has to be inside. Wait a minute, I can fast travel to locations if I gain these. Fob signals coming in clear. You guys need anything? Keep me posted. Okay, I don't know how to change the vehicle, so maybe you do get a tank later on to use. It was just that that tank was letting me use it. Um, all right. So the tower. I think the tower's the main mission. And yeah, I don't. I don't need vehicles, I'm just gonna keep moving on my feet. Let's get the UNSC um, distress distressing signal. <sighs> mm. 
Not good. Do you see what he's carrying? Oh my god. <laughs> I knew that. Um, <clears throat> I knew that was gonna go bad instantly. So I'm not sure if he's got the uh, tracking RPG. I feel like he does. The yellow one. That gun is near undodgeable at times. Only if he shoots it, of course. If he doesn't shoot it well, it's probably dodgeable 100%. So. I want my pulse rifle back. Alright, so I can't, I don't exactly know what it means by investigating this area. I'm not seeing anything. I've literally killed the only enemies that are around. There's nothing else. You know what, I'm going to carry on with the main mission. I guess Tower was a more than appropriate name. Look at that place. The signal's coming from within that main structure. Somewhere up top. We're gonna need to find So what, are these like the only things in the whole map and then once you do them, they're like, done? So, f targets. Oh yeah, you do get a tank. And you get Rock Launch Marine too. You get marines equipped with rock launchers. Wow. Can I like keep gaining them by like asking it, like redoing it? That'd be pretty cool. I like, just get a massive army of marines for free. Oh my god, grunt, you're wasting my bullets. Okay, up there, I think it's the next boss, so I've got to be ready for when I go up there. So, either there's a brute with a rock launcher up top that shot me, or a sniper, or someone grenaded me where I couldn't see them. <sighs> okay, that went better than expected. Alright, let's keep going. Let's keep moving. I'm just being aggressive. Let's see how far I get between this. Okay, what's the, uh, there's literally two grunts, Jackal and a skirmish.
Okay, if I can get up here and there's no enemies up the side, or there are always horses enemies. Just of course. <laughs> of course, <laughs> there's a grenade getting thrown. I knew that was sort of happening, that's why I, I was about to look behind me like, hang on a minute. Why have they not thrown a grenade yet? Okay. So Jackal's Skirmish and two Grunts, or a Grunt, Brute, and Jackal, I think. Or two Grunts and a Brute. I'm going to go this side again. I feel like it's more, more livable. Less cover, though, in my opinion. Okay, now, I reckon, actually, I think it's a Brute and two Grunts, wasn't it? I feel like... This way is a lot safer because <clears throat> like it's just the brute that's the really bad. Or I'm getting outnumbered. <laughs> hmm. Also got another idea. Oh shit. Well, that was unlucky. <laughs> I've like I I just like have not been dying at all and then all of a sudden I'm just dying a crap load. Alright, I'm up the top, so that's good. That just means... I can now go pick these enemies off. They're giving me a hard time. Alright, one down. So yeah, when I was doing this boss, I sort of just ran in there. I didn't worry about killing all these guys over here. But this boss, I'm probably going to be dying it multiple times because he's very tough. Mostly on legendary, I'd say. That's funny. I've got cover. That guy's got no cover. Uh. 
<laughs> I've got some cover, they've got no cover. That was instant karma, that was. Me opening my big mouth. Grunty, could you please die? That'd be great. There's a scowl if I found one. Wow. Oh, Jekyll. It's misplaced. When the lockdown triggered, there was a power spike in what I presume was a security building. All right, now I've got Marines to help me out. No idea. Okay, this gun without headshotting anything is just really bad. As soon as you hit the headshot, it's worth it. It's still a headshotable weapon. It's like it's like a machine gun DMR in a way. That marine helped me out a lot. Alright, give me that. No, yep, that one. Oof, he's got an RPG. Now where are you gonna go, Brody? Now where you can go. Well, then try to kill me. Know where I can go now. Oh boy, I opened my mouth. <laughs> Karma. It's not on my side today. As soon as I say something, not too nice to the Covenant, 
it literally backfires on me instantly. Oh boy. There's so many more enemies, like, I literally just ran straight to the, um, to the thing for the elite to kill him, but there is so much more to kill than I thought. I should check that. Oh my God. The lockdown is controlled from the security building near the front. This is it. Let's find a way in. So there's <clears throat> three jackals literally with um needlers, but I literally got a checkpoint. This is Screw it. you. Let's find a way in. I didn't even kill him. You can take them out. Take <clears throat> with pleasure. Well just <clears throat> just throw a grenade when you got a rock launcher, all good. Yeah. What are you doing? <clears throat> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. No. I don't know how good this is at close range. Oh, it's a fire gun. Burns them to death. The lockdown protocol should be simple to reverse. Let me see. Three, two, one. Done. Oh. What is it? This. This place is an interrogation facility, run by our elite friend back there, Chacklock. His reputation is... not good. You're not easy to kill either. So... You're going to need to manually activate the gravity lift. I've marked it on your map. This location acts as a holding facility. Prisoners are captured, funneled through to Chacklock, and then onto somewhere they call the House of Reckoning, which is. Oh my god. It was a bazooka bro brute, that's what was out there. Alright. I gotta be more ready. This location acts as a holding facility. Prisoners are captured, funneled through to Chacklock, and then onto somewhere they call the House of Reckoning, which is. Berserkers ain't hard to deal with, it's just they're hard to deal with when you've got like you're fighting something. As a holding facility. 
The prisoners are captured, funneled through to Chacklock, and then onto somewhere they call the House of Reckoning, which is suitably ominous and banished sounding. Rain. Give me that. Fuck. I'm gonna die by getting shot in the back. Not good. All I want is a plasma, like plasma carbine repeater, or whatever you call it. Remember, we can't get up there without activating the gravity lift. Seen something. Fight me then. Man, am I glad to see you. Snuck up on me. This ain't good. Gravity left is powered up, but I want to kill these guys. I don't know if taking all the enemies out in like the main mission areas is really going to affect the percentage. So I know I'm on mission 7 and I'm only 14% in because I like skipped all those other things. You can die. Dropping this better rifle. Seriously, it's not the greatest idea I've had. I'm sure, I'll get it back. Chief, more Spartan armor and the source of the distress signal. We're too late. Can I like hand? 
Well, that solves my problem. He, he closes it up and then this whole room is like a, a fighting ground it just goes around there and then like these cages up here open up I'm pretty sure as soon as I press that helmet things are going to go bad so mm, I was going to say I'll go grab my thing like better rifle than that but Technically, then I'm gonna drop something that's not really great. Alright. Let's just deal with this guy. Threat sensor. It appears to lock onto and highlight any targets in range. Could be useful. This armor belonged to a Spartan named Hudson Griffin. Sensor logs suggest he was So these Spartan, they're not from Halo 5 or anything, so what happened to those ones? It's a long shot, but he might well, that's, still be alive. Like, if they are from Halo 5, I've really not been paying attention much. <laughs> right. Got out this. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> All the raging brutes. I don't got my better rifle. This ain't good. Hang on a minute. This gun is not the greatest for that. I was just thinking it was going to be good for the boss. Because it was good for another boss. But it's probably not the same. Like a brute boss, you can sort of, um... You can sort of see them all the time. They, they don't go invisible where this boss goes invisibility. Say goodbye to that. Got options. He's here. Alright, so if it literally hits them in the head three times, it will kill them. Like, <clears throat> if it directly hits them three times in the head, not like head, head, body, or head, body, body, or something. Oh, 
Oh no. Wow, wow. It hit the side. <laughs> it kill it, I love how it doesn't kill a brew, but it kills me. You really did yourself out this this time. Maybe not. This gun just really sucks. Alright, I want that needle in. Maybe. I don't get it. Well, equipment found. You've got to find equipment. Never mind. It's probably my better rifle is probably safe down there because I got to. I would have to run all the way up here again. Painful. Like hard light weapon requirement. All right. Oh no, Spartan here it is. is. He's still alive. We need to get him out of there. Welcome to my tower, Master Chief. It is where you will be broken. This boss on my first playthrough took me a little while. It is where a hours. you will give up your secrets. Oh, legendary excited. I've just gone straight into legendary and not really played any other difficulty. But the walls retracted. Watch your back. He could come from anywhere. <laughs> So what I do know, when a shield goes down, it doesn't regain his shield. That's he's like the only boss that doesn't regain shield. So far that I oh and um maybe another boss is on. The walls retracted. Watch your back. He could come from anywhere. As expected. So, the way I did this was throwing a lot of these on him. <laughs> I knew this wasn't going to be easy yet again. Retracted. Watch your back. He could come from anywhere. Yeah. 
My sense of fear. Griffin's threat sensor can help you locate Chaklock. <laughs> Oh, he's harsh. So he's got a, he's actually got a plasma rifle too, like a, uh, like the, um, carbine, pulse carbine is what people call it. I just like calling it a pulse rifle, it's way bigger than a pulse carbine, it's so confusing. The wall's retracted, watch your back, he can come from anywhere. So as soon as, like... As soon as I get his health good, like no shield. Oh, he Griffin's threat sensor can help you locate Chaklock. Damn it. As soon as I get, like, I, I just hate this invisibility on Halo Infinite. Well, I don't hate it. It's just very hard to deal with. Because you can't see it, which makes sense, though. You're not meant to be able to see invisibility, like, the enemies never see you. Other Halos. Even if, even if I would have thrown that I was dead, I would have killed myself. Because he was right there. I would have killed myself, so I, I would have probably rather died from that grenade. I mean, the grenade. The uh, energy sword at the time. Oh my gosh. So now you can see how I was on this for a couple hours. <laughs> and that might be it again. Hard boss is never an easy boss. Retracted. Wow. Alright, so I'm just gonna really focus now. So I'm not even gonna try grab any of those. I'm just gonna keep doing what I did before. Running on the outside. This is like my way. This is my way to deal with the boss. Get out. Can't even get to the door before he kills me. Okay, so that wasn't the way I'm doing it. Let's retry. Oh, fuck off. He's right there. The wall's retracted. Watch your back. He could come from anywhere. Now then, let us see beneath that helmet. This boss is great. He just pulls out a gun. Yeah, so what I actually tried to do once, I'll show you. I was like, if I'm up, if I'm up, like up here, he won't be able to get me. And then he will just pull out his gun and start shooting at me. Sensor can help you locate Chaklock. Hard to see. Use the threat sensor. 
Get out, you. Oh, I'm gonna die by his pulse rifle. It's not good. So I'm not sure if these keep um, respawning. Use the threat sensor, Keith. So I never use the threat sensor. It probably makes it easier knowing where he is. He really dies from a needler very fast. Holy shit. Do you know that threat sensor actually made my life so machine. much easier? I never knew about it beforehand. So that's why I was on this for so long. <laughs> oh shit. I'll save you. No. He, he, I'm pretty sure he dies. Anyway, shut this thing down. I have no idea. Working on it. Okay, be ready. I'm going to cut him loose. It's you. You're alive. Banished. I tried to stop them. I tried to. Easy. You're safe now. The banished. They. They have something they call the conservatory. That's all I know. It's picked up north of here. Dig site. I couldn't stop them. But you can. You have to. Consider it done. That's good. Good. The others, the Spartans. Did you? I'll find them. Echo 216, all channels. Can you hear me? I repeat, can you hear me? Chief? Conservatory must be some sort of forerunner installation. What do you suppose they're after? It's time to go. All right. that whatever the conservatory is, the Banished won't want us anywhere near it. Then they'll be disappointed. Yes, they will. I know needlers are very good for hunters too. For 
some reason. Oh no. Forgot about this part. This part was stupid. Stupid part. I have not missed it. Oh boy. You know what's funny? Oh, I sort of had an idea. Not anymore. I was going to jump down, but, uh, huh. about that. That's where I've got to go. I'm wondering, like, if I end the video here, that I won't have to do that boss again. I'm hoping not. I shouldn't have to. Jackal sniper, it's hot. Which there's not like a lot to deal with here at all. It could be worse. I sort of want to kill that boss off, that grunt boss or whatever that that um thing is, that red thing I found. Map. Sniper. I'm just a sniper, man. Fight me like a real man. Instead of hiding up in the top. Where are you going? Oh my god. The banished are searching for something called the conservatory. Let me guess. You're heading there too. Affirmative. Well, don't worry about me. I'll be here, waiting. Alone. Alright. Oh, we'll be in touch. Just, just don't leave me out here for too long, okay? I mean it. Do I see it? Oh my god. It's back. My better rifle. Hell yeah. We should claim that fob. It's literally nothing that can beat. It's a better rifle. For just like all around useful for everything. I love the brute's line, strike the beast when the um, back is turned. Like, wow. 
I'm pretty sure that that's used in like Halo 3 or something. Could be wrong, could be Halo 1, it could be Elite saying that. I can't remember. Exactly. No more awesome, and then that should actually save here from me capturing this. That'll do it. Fob captured. Looks like we're right on the edge of the island. A chunk of what used to be a single contiguous structure. Can you imagine the force it would take to blow this ring apart? Must have been quite a show. Fob signals coming in clear. You guys need anything? Keep me posted. All yours, Chief. All right, I'm going to end it here for part two, and we'll see how much of a percentage. See if, like, I've nearly got a higher percentage than my standard gameplay playthrough. So I think I've got like 14 or 15 on my other one. Percent. Right, 14 and 8. It's pretty good for only being on like, what, I think the second mission, or third maybe now, or second, I'm pretty sure. And only 2 hours, 3 hours, uh, 6 hours and 40 minutes is how long, because that elite boss that I took so long on. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in part 3 for the Halo Infinite Legendary Campaign playthrough. Alright, see ya.